So right now what you're doing is, you're pitting sweetness of emotion versus sweetness of the surroundings. Mm -hmm. Pleasantness of surroundings will not happen unless there is a skill to it, there's a talent to it. Now relationship is hard work. Mm -hmm. You have to build it, you have to manage it, there are many aspects to it. I'm just asking you to upgrade your technology so that yourself start This is an answer I need. Like, can we survive with love and not in not enough money, or is money important? And then we can also find love, like whenever we can, if we do. See, yeah. Uh, <laughs> what you call as myself right now is a body, a certain amount of thought, emo thought, and okay. ideas, and whatever. We will stick to this dimension. And if you go to another no, no, dimension, I lose you there. And always. there is a bunch of emotions. Okay. And there is life energy. Mm. Without that energy, all this wouldn't be functioning. Okay. So these are four dimensions. <laughs> okay. What you're referring to as love is a certain sweetness of emotion. Mm. The question is not about who triggered it for you. Mm. It is just that because of somebody or something, you started experiencing a certain sweetness of emotion, mm. which became so valuable at that time, you promised a kidney mm. Mm. <laughs> at that moment mm -hmm. because that sweetness meant so much mm. that actually in Hindi they say something, what Gurda, something, what is that? <laughs> what is that, huh? Something I will give away my kidney. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> that same thing is said in a more okay. powerful way. Okay. <laughs> so, at that moment, I'm willing to pull my kidney out mm, and mm. give it to you, but not the hair. <laughs> that is clear, okay <laughs> So essentially, it's sweetness of emotion. Mm. What sweetness means is, see, if the body becomes sweet, mm. we call this health. Mm. You feel healthy because there is a certain sweetness in the body, pleasantness. Mm. Sweetness is pleasantness, isn't mm. it? Mm. You call something sweet because you say, oh, she's so sweet. Mm. Because she is pleasant mm. for you. In your experience, she is pleasant. Mm. So sh you say sh it is sweet. Mm. So if your body becomes pleasant, we call this health. Mm. If it becomes very pleasant, we call this pleasure. Mm. If your mind becomes pleasant, we call this peace. Mm. You're feeling very pleasant, so you say, I'm peaceful. Mm. It became very pleasant, you call this joy. Mm. Your emotions become pleasant, you call this love. Mm. It became very pleasant, mm. now you call it compassion. Mm. If it is somewhat pleasant only for one person, we mm. call this passion. Mm. It became very pleasant, we call it compassion. Mm. Now, you feel like that absolute mm. sweetness towards the tree and the air you breathe and the people, you don't even know who they are, it doesn't matter, you have pleasantness. Mm. So we say compassion. Mm. If your very life energies become pleasant, we call this bliss. If it becomes very pleasant, we call it ecstasy. If your surroundings become pleasant, we call this success. So right now what you're doing is, you're pitting sweetness of emotion versus sweetness of the surroundings. Mm. Mm. To create sweetness of the surroundings, we need the cooperation of many forces. Mm. Hmm? Situations have to cooperate, yeah. people have to cooperate, many things have to fall into place. Yeah. Otherwise, success doesn't happen. Mm. Pleasantness of surroundings will not happen unless there is a skill to it, there's a talent to it, there's a, a certain amount of management to it, there are many things. But the sweetness of the body, the sweetness of the mind, the sweetness of the emotion and the sweetness of your energy must be one hundred percent your making, isn't it? Mm. <coughs> yes or no? Mm. The sweetness of the surroundings, everybody has a stake, all of them will play a role in this. But the other four dimensions, the sweetness should be managed by you. So if you are in charge of that, then you would keep this always profusely sweet. Your mind, your emotion, your body, everything, you would keep it that way. Then all these struggles wouldn't even be relevant to you. This is one dimension. Money is a means to facilitate external situations. Love is a means to create internal pleasantness. What I'm saying is, the sweetness of inside or sweetness of surroundings both require time to build that sweetness. No, 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 no. Huh? 
Like if I have to be successful sweetness, in my… Uh, sweetness of outside needs time, yeah. energy, effort, resource. Like a relationship needs nurturing, you need to spend time See, with that it. is a different thing. This is what I'm trying to distinguish. See, love is what happens within you. Mm. This is the sweetness of your heart. Mm. Relationship is… Uh, sometimes it's hard work. Oh, when I'm talking <laughs> about love, I'm not talking spiritual, this is no, all relationship No, I'm not talking anything everything. spiritual. <laughs> oh. There's nothing spiritual, this is emotion. Okay. See, right now, uh. you're smiling. Yeah. Is it spiritual or just a regular smiler? <laughs> spiritual <laughs> dimension, I don't understand. See, that I'm is what, full you don't have to understand that <laughs> because you don't even have to name it that. Uh. All I'm saying is, if your body is feeling pleasant, you your feel smile. healthy yeah. and nice. Mm. If your mind is feeling pleasant, you feel peaceful and joyful. Mm. If your emotion is feeling pleasant, you feel loving and compassionate. Mm. So, why do you want to call it spiritual, non-spiritual nonsense? Mm. There's no such thing. Mm. So right now you sit here, you have very sweet emotion, not towards anything or anybody. You're just sitting here, sweet emotions, has it happened to you? Nobody need to be there, just like that. If there is something, you share it. If there is nothing, you can sit here with a very sweet emotion. Now relationship is hard work. Mm. That is external success. Mm. You have to build it, you have to manage it, there are mm. many aspects to it. Mm. While the other person may be looking at your external situations too, all mm. right? Mm. They're not just looking at the sweetness of your heart, mm. they're also looking at what you're wearing, what you're driving, how you are, who you are, everything they're looking at it. Yeah. So, a relationship involves those dimensions, you cannot say it is completely free of that. Well, when the Gurda thing happens, maybe little bit they will cross that. Mm. But it doesn't mean it's completely free of that, no. It's always involved, physical things are involved, isn't it? Uh, this sweetness, uh, what did you call love? Sweetness of the heart. Mm -hmm. Sweetness of your emotion. Sweetness of my emotion, if it happens with two, three people then <laughs> It cannot happen with two, three people, it can only happen within you. Ah, uh, in a… okay. It only happens within you… If it is happening within me… <laughs> no, no, three people are stimulating it. <laughs> ah. <laughs> three people may be stimulating it. Okay. I am asking you, do you want to be a push-start machine or a self-start machine? Self-start? Self-start means your sweetness must be turned on by you. If you want to share it, you can share it, if you don't want to share it, you don't share it. But you must be sweet for your own self, not for some… See, love is not about somebody, it's the pleasantness of your existence, isn't it? Is it not important? Forget about other people, relationship stuff. Mm. But is it not important if you sit here, you are pleasant by your own nature, somebody need not come and poke you and crank you to be pleasant? Right now what you are talking about is, Three people have to crank me to make me pleasant. A very poor machine. <laughs> you remember the old ambassadors? Yeah. Always they parked down slope because morning you have to push. Now all the cars are self-start. Improvement, technological improvement or no? I'm just asking you to upgrade your technology so that you self-start. If you wake up in the morning, you're full of joy and love. If somebody comes, we will share, if nobody comes, we're just fine. <laughs>